Today I want to talk about the viewpoint of a venture capitalists, an investment perspective, a financial perspective, and it really gives you some unique insights that anybody is interested in anything is to do with the AI, even if you're a technologist, you should understand this viewpoint because it really prepares you to be successful within the field of artificial intelligence. So stay tuned. So there's been an article by two venture capitalists from here, from the Silicon Valley. And uh, it's a long article, I don't want to go into too many of details, but they're saying, hey people, uh, we have seen from a financial perspective that uh, artificial intelligence startups are really different. And basically they're saying, you know what, they make less money than we expected. Let me tell you the three points that they're talking about. So they're saying, in general, a software as a service company makes some kind of 80% of gross margins. So Gross margins means the cost to produce the service. So it costs 20% of their revenue to produce the service. And they're saying AI startups instead to produce their service cost about 40%. So that's, that's kind of one of the problems. The other problem is that they're seeing the artificial intelligence startup growing slower than they expected. And there is a reason why we're gonna see all of these things. And the third thing is they're saying that the technology protection is not as the barrier for others to compete is not as high as they expected. So they kind of, uh, okay, this bunch of problems here. So let's go into the details. And, and now you see how the finance and the technology comes together. So the gross margins, they say there are two reasons, main reasons why the cost of producing the service is higher. The number one, cost is the cost of software infrastructure. So a lot of this AI really runs on Amazon Cloud or they run on Google. So that, that's the thing. And at this level, you know, you might say there is no difference with other type of startups. There, there is no much difference with uh, other type of technologies. But the problem is because of the training of the data, because of what's called model inference, which is basically when the model is really working in the environment where it's supposed to work. All of these operations requires a little bit more computational power than other type of software. And this increases the cost, basically. It's a little bit more complex, but I want to keep the video reduced. So one thing is the cost of really the computation. The second thing is the cost of the human in the loop. So a lot of the so-called artificial intelligence processes requires a human in the loop. And this is funny because people are so scared by a human going away. So the human in the loop comes in a couple of ways. So one way is when we train the model. Think of this training model like a baby that you need to teach. And it's kind of a not very smart baby that can learn on its own. But it's a baby that only learns by examples and you have to show like millions of examples. In order to create those examples, you need the human beings to create those examples. So tons of cost is there. But then sometimes there is a need in various industries, especially when the service is a business to business. So when I am a company that is servicing another company, I have a lot of uh, stipulations with this other company to provide a correct type of service. And so I need the human beings that verifies that everything is going according to my contract. So in this case, there is a need also for a human being. So all of this increases the cost. So that's one contribution to the, the fact that the venture capitalists are saying AI startups are kind of different. Then we have these other situations of basically the scalability, so meaning once I get the first 10 customers, can I get the next 100 customer quickly so that we make a lot of money and immediately we sell these startups out to Wall Street? That's a dream lab for venture capitalists. They think that way. And they're saying, actually, it's not happening that quickly. And the reason is there is a level of customization of the service, especially in the business to business, that is specific for every company. Every company that is a customer in this case um, has different data, different input data, a little bit of different problem. And this requires a level of customization that basically takes the startup more time to serve and therefore takes the resources away from getting another customers and selling another customer. So that's in a nutshell, the reason why they say it's going less fast. You see, this is a financial perspective of 
identifying the difference. And then the third thing that they're talking about is actually most of the intellectual property generated in the AI field is uh, still at the academic level, is shared, is kind of shared in universities. A lot of startups really start with models that have, developed, uh, have been developed in the universities, or even sometimes they've been developed by Google and they use one thing is called transfer learning to go fast and solve their problems, basically. And so they say now it's a little bit more difficult to defend this type of technology because at the core, it's not like a new chip that you can say, I have a pattern for the new chip. The core of the technology, which is the algorithm, it's basically not defensible. It's kind of open source, basically. And it's really the combination of product, data, and your, your ability to conquer the customer relationship that creates the barrier to entry for the other ones. And therefore they're saying, okay, that's kind of a problem. They're not, like, the article is not that they're pessimistic. They're more like, okay, these this are all the things that we have kind of, we have worked out. And then I think uh, there are lots of uh, suggestions that they give. One thing that really struck me is uh, that they say, Try to find the problem that you want to solve. Try to narrow the it because it's going to be more scalable. And that's kind of uh, interesting because usually they, I know, they want to always get this uh, huge Facebook and Google. And uh, the fact that they're saying narrow it down, start as narrow as possible because that's more reproducible in more scalable type of problem is it's very interesting. So I hope this will be useful. This type of thinking is really the type of thinking and the type of mindset that I like to contribute with the course that I have created. So if you're interested, click on the link and you can have access to more information about this course. And the video today, once more, demonstrates that there is a difference in the way that things were done before in technology and the way that things will be done next with the use of artificial intelligence. Thank you very much. I'll see you the next time.